getting ready to go wash. Before long, I'm going to see Glory. Got my big teeth comb to comb out the mask. As a Trini, when, uh, when you hear the word dogla, one of the first things that comes to people's minds is a mess of crazy curly hair. I'm like this. And um, I am a dogla. My mom's family is of East Indian descent, um, when we trace it like Southern India. And my dad's family is African, mixed with Spanish by way of Venezuela, and French by way of St. Vincent. Um, I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago, which is where I'm from, and uh, I am fiercely proud of my heritage. As a woman, when people mention femininity and sexiness, hair, breasts, shape, fertility, inevitably comes up in defining um, that identity. In case you didn't realize, <laughs> being a woman means so much more than that. I remember as a child, I often yelled to my mother, um, rather insolently, <laughs> I wish I was a boy. And that would usually come on the heels of being tasked with some girly chore like putting away laundry or something like that. And I always thought boys had it so much better. But as I've grown up, I am fiercely proud to be a woman. There are some heroic women who are battling cancer, and people battling cancer in general, but some very heroic women, and they no longer have the choice in hairstyles. As they fight their disease, the toxic chemicals that they have to put into their bodies to fight the mutations have basically stolen away the manes off of their heads. And, and for many, that, that loss is not a badge of strength the way that I see it and many others see it. It's for them a very, very painful loss of femininity, a very painful um, loss of their sense of self as a woman. Um, I've heard cancer survivors talk about um, being more scared and upset about losing their hair than about actually going for treatment itself and, and what that means. And um, someone I love very, very dearly um, made me understand how hard it is to look in the mirror and feel inadequate, to feel le less sexy, to feel um, you know, less womanly. And, uh, because she didn't have her stylish coif anymore. And that day that she made me, or night rather, that she made me understand that, um, I decided I wanted to do something to help. And so I have been growing out my hair. Um, this is the longest that it's been in ages. I mean, it's like down my back now. And, um, and I am super excited because today, I go to see Glory, my stylist, who I've not seen in months, and because uh, there was nothing to do, and um, I've been growing out my highlights and growing out the length, so that today she can cut it and we can um, send it off to Pantene for the Beautiful Lengths program, which is an amazing program that uses hair that's donated to create wigs um, for women who are battling cancer and just need a little bit of something to make them feel pretty. And um, I won't lie, <laughs> selfishly I'm a little bit nervous about the cut because I haven't gone that short in a really long time. Um, my boys and some friends have made very, very clear their opinions in opposition. And although they appreciate the sentiment of what I want to do, it um, they oppose. And I have to say, like that opposition just for me further underscores the importance of how hair is used to judge how pretty we look or how feminine we are, whatever the case might be. So to me, it's just hair and it will grow back. But to a woman somewhere, it will mean hope and I'm excited to be a part of something like that.
and um, although it's not about me, so, um, but I really just want to help. And um, the other thing is, I did a ton of research on the different donation programs, and um, and it was very easy to make my decision to go with Pantene because instead of being a profit center, they really are putting back every dollar and every bit of hair that gets donated into the program, so it can really help women. And um, most of the videos and stuff I saw online were of Caucasian women with long hair, um, and I didn't see a whole lot of stories of women of color. And I don't know if that's just a challenge of growing it that long or a little bit of fear of cutting it, but um, like I said, to me it's just hair. Hopefully to a woman somewhere it will bring some hope. And um, I don't share any of this for there to be you know, any kind of focus on me. I just hope that it'll inspire you in some small way to give of yourself in a very personal way to help change someone else's life. My friend um, opened up my eyes to it and I'm happy to help. If you'd like more information on the uh, Beautiful Lengths program, you can go to pantene.com and click on Beautiful Lengths and hopefully pretty soon I'll be seeing a video of you donating too. Thanks, have a great day. When she thought up that I should be with you But it's time to face the truth I will never be with Pure. I saw an angel of that I'm sure She smiled at me on the subway She was with another man But I won't lose no sleep on that Cause I've got a plan You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful Crowd.